What's up, YouTube? Pokebram here, Prime Ready to deliver you our uh, our battle this week, uh, week seven in the WCBL against Pag and the Dallas Keldeos. I'm very tired. I literally just woke up. I slept through my class today. Like I don't know why I'm so tired, but um, yeah, I slept through my class today, uh, and I am beat. I this is probably going to be a loss. I am taking this as massively an, as an L as I possibly can. So, I'm prepared for a rough match, but, uh, yeah, shit. <laughs> um, let me get this over in the calcs. Um, so he brought the, let's go over some of the things he brought. He brought the Deoxys, which, not surprised, obviously the battle of the Deoxys had to go down. He brought the Aloma Mola, he brought the Zydoge, he brought, oh my god, he brought Rodan Fan, and then he brought the, uh, he brought the Pharaoh. I'm um, kind of surprised he brought Rodan Fan because I have Zygarde, but I guess he probably had some kind of, he's probably shook a berry, I'd be betting. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. But... Um, what do I want to lead? Mm, how do I want to lead on this one? Um, I don't have anything that can just grab me like really early momentum either. It's just kind of like this is a struggle busting out here. Um, part of me kind of wants to just lead with Agron because it can go 1v1 against some of his team. Another part of me wants to just lead Incineroar, because again, it can do the same thing. It can just go for turn 1 knockoff. So I think I'm going to go Incineroar, actually. The only lead that he can go with that's, like, really scary um, would be if he leads off with... Okay, that's fine. I'm going to click... I'm going to go through with the plan, and I'm clicking turn 1 knockoff. I lose nothing. Uh, Incineroar. Samuel with Joe. And Rotom. Fan. Sorry, right, let's see what we got. He's going to trick me a choice specs. You bastard. You disgusting pile of shit. Go fuck yourself. Please kill yourself and die. I hate you. God damn. Damn it, that's really bad. Come the fuck on, man. Well, now we now we have Choice Specs Fire Blast to kill the uh, Ferrothorn with. That'll be cool, I guess. Um. All right. Um. Uh, that's already a problem. That's already a massive problem. Me a motherfucking choice, folks. That's some shit, dog. Offensive asset though, for sure, because we did that much damage. Yeah, it's offensive. He doesn't even have. He has like no HP investment, or like no defense investment at all. He's gonna lose his red card. That's cool. Um, that's real cool. So. I'm gonna go into top of top of 
Huffle Finny. Alright, so... Um, hmm. Let me just go for the taunt. That's fine. I should have gone for the surf. Would surf have killed? Would surf have killed? Because now if surf would have killed, I'm going to be mad. Surf would not have killed. Actually, it had like a small chance to kill from the range it was at, but it's fine. So he's got trick. We know he has trick. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to get tricked into assault vest because I need my taunt. So I'm going to go into my now fucking choice packs and center roar. Actually, you can't even trick on this turn, so he has to go for something offensive. Um... I'm gonna go Goliath score and then double back into um, potentially Incineroar. He goes for the air slash. I get my Toxic Orb off. That's nice. Uh, now we scout for HP Ice by going into. Um, We're going to Incineroar. We see how for HP Ice that way. Uh, smart going for the Air Slash on that. Predicting me to switch. Yep, he does have HP Ice, so now we know. Um. Let me U-turn. Obviously, he's going to be faster than me. I'm going to get the U-turn off. Um, hmm. Did I knock off his Assault Vest? Oh, because he tricked me turn one. Yeah. So he doesn't have the Assault Vest anymore. Never mind, I'm stupid. Um, okay. So he can't actually really trick me or anything, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to go out into... Um, do I have a set of rocks? I didn't bring rocks in this game? I swear to god I brought rocks in this game. I swear to god I told myself I was bringing rocks in this game. I feel so stupid right now. It's really upsetting that I don't have rocks right now. It's also really upsetting that I don't have my assault vest because that's literally the main fucking thing I needed Incineroar for was to beat the uh to beat down this fucking stupid hound doom but now I can't do that because bullshit. Um I'm just gonna go for a nightshade. It hits everything. Uh if he goes into one of his bulkier mons I can taunt it immediately.
Mm-hmm. Nightshade should do a big fucking amount of damage to this thing, which is nice. It'll do a lot. It does like 41%. Because we figured out that he doesn't have HP investment. He's offensively invested entirely. Um... I'm probably not going to win this game. I, I'm warning y'all now that this is just formality. It's just trying to get the differential down as low as possible. Nightshade on that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to taunt immediately. Go fuck yourself. Now I'm going to go for the knockoff. Get rid of its lefties. I'll take that rough skin. Or I'll take that rock. Or I'll take that uh, iron barbs damage. I don't care. Get rid of his. Uh, get rid of his bullshit. Fucking um, item. Don't need him getting them leftovers back. Tomb World. Tomb World is what he named his Ferrith one. I don't understand that one. Knock off. That's fine. Taunt that too. Like, you think I won't fucking do that every single time? You're absolutely wrong. I'm now I'm gonna go for the Nightshade. This is what Deoxys is good at. Deoxys is good at sitting here, taunting things, keeping them from doing anything extra, and then just clicking Nightshade and causing damage. That's what this thing is good at. That's what this mon thrives on doing. Best part about this is Tapu Fini can do the exact same thing in this game. 33%. What? Now I'm really confused. Okay, so he has 248 HP, but like, that doesn't check out with my Incineroar count. Because it did 58%. Was I, did I get a crit? No. No, I did not get a crit. Is there any way that that can work out? Oh, yeah, I guess because they still had him as a, uh... Yeah, that's like a max roll if he's like not... If he's a timid nature, I still had it as a bold nature. That's my bad. Um, just gonna go for nightshade again. There's nothing from doing so, and he misses his air slash. That's great. Cause we are uh, speed corrupt here, uh, which is dope. And uh, now he's in range to die, so I'm just gonna go for another nightshade. He's gonna go into aloe, and I'm gonna taunt. You can keep going back into the Loma Mola. I'm still going to taunt you and stop you from doing what the fuck you want to do. Like, you want to try to talk to me? You want to try to set up a wish? That's not going to happen. I hope you understand. Like, I'm not allowing that. You will not do the thing that you want to do. You're getting taunted. Liquidation. That's weak. Fuck off. And now I click Nightshade. I have 32 taunts. Who am I kidding? I click Nightshade. Maybe he's specially defensive Rotom. Yeah, maybe he's specially defensive Rotom. Now that I'm thinking about it, specially defensive Trick Rotom, that could be an option. Yeah, because he has the max HP, and he, um... He hasn't outsped anything that is necessary. Like, we just outsped it with Deoxys, and we have, like, no... We have literally no speed investment at all. So... Yeah, I think he's definitely, um, I think he's definitely, oh, Spadef wrote him, now that I look at it, uh, we just haven't hit him with anything on the Spadef side, so he hasn't been able to utilize that Spadef investment at all, but I think he's Spadef wrote him, yeah, Spadef wrote him.
He's trying to figure out how the fuck he gets out of this. This endless web of taunting. Um, we're gonna have to get a toxic on the aloe eventually. Like, we're gonna have to actually like actively try to get a toxic on this thing. Which we don't have on Deoxys, unfortunately. In favor for the knockoff. Um... What can I do about this? Um... Part of me almost to go hard Aggron, which is almost a bad play, so I can maybe get a Toxic off on this thing, and I'm only going to do that. I want to do that. No, I'm just going to Nightshade for now. Excuse me. Come on, Pag, make your move. I have shit to do today. I I have I have places to be, I have shit to do. Shopping to get done. Like, you're not helping you're you're not you're not you're not helping anything right now by just taking fucking forever, dude. Yeah. Alright. So this thing comes in. Now I have to be scared because it's the Mega Houndoom. The Mega Houndoom is in. Houndoom, Mega. Why do they not have a set for Mega Houndoom in here at all? Like, why is that not a thing? Dark Pulse does over half to me. Um, Nightshade is 34%. So it's 12 HP investment. I'm gonna go hard finny. I have to go hard finny because there's nothing else I can really do. He goes to the dark pulse that does nothing. 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 You wanna do nothing. Finny, finny nut. Yeah, Dark Pulse does 13.4%, so you got the min roll on that one, which is great for me. I'm just going to Nature's Madness. And then go for the taunt. Nature's Madness on the Ferrothorn. Nice. Now, how much can we do with HP Fire? And how much is he doing with Power Whip? Power Whip is doing way too damn much to me. Uh, don't like it. So I'm actually going to go hard Incineroar. Because if he goes for Power Whip, either if he, if he goes for Power Whip or Knockoff, that's perfect for me because I know he's going to predict me to go for the Taunt. I know he's going to want me to go for the Taunt. He goes for the Leech Seed for some fucking reason that doesn't make any sense. That is insane, dude. Why would you go for that on that turn in particular? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why did you just do that? Why? Maybe he predicted me to be scared of him going for a move like that. I should have taunted first, actually, now that I think about it. Because I was forced out by that mod. Um, if anything, he switches into Aloe here. Because he's not going to want to take the fire move. He can switch in any of these top three, actually, right here. So my best play is just to go straight for a U-turn. Yep, he's going to go Aloe. And as he goes Aloe, I go... Um, You know, I'm actually going to go Aggron. I don't care if he gets a Wish Up. Uh, I'm going to Toxic. I'm going to Mega and Toxic. Because I need a Toxic on this thing ASAP. He has no way of getting rid of that Toxic. So uh, i got to get a Toxic on this thing ASAP. Rocky. So that's the plan here. We're going to go for the Toxic. 
realistically, he has nothing on his team that he really wants to bring in on that. Besides uh, Ferrothorn. And Ferrothorn dies to Fire Punch. So, or Ferrothorn gets two code by Fire Punch. So I'm not worried about it. Um, if we can get Toxic on this Alo Mamola, we will be fine. Because Alo does not get any form of um, healing moves. Um, as I will show by going into the team builder and um, pulling up Alo Mamola. Alo Mamola. Um, healing Wish, which kills itself. Um, no Heal Bell, no Aromatherapy. This thing has, unless it gets refreshed. Does it get refreshed? It does get refreshed, actually. I did not know that. That is information I was unaware of. But we're going to Mega. He's going to go for the Protect. Uh, so he's scouting. He's scouting us. So, um, realistically, I double Toxic here. He's going to go Pharaoh. That's fine. I'm going to go Fire Punch. He's at, he's at the max roll if he's like, Iron Barbs, it's fine. He's gonna leech seed me, that's fine. Um, ah, this is so annoying. If he's leech seed protect, that's gonna be really annoying. I'm gonna go Samo semi Ojo because I'm gonna think that he might go for protect here, and that would be very good for me. Uh, I knew I should have gone for the fire punch as soon as I, I saw the protect on the aloe. He goes aloe, actually, hard aloe. Um, he's going to be able to get a wish off, too. That's the th problem. Just where is he going to put that wish? Um, damn it. He's going to be able to get a wish up, and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. He has three mons that can appreciate a wish right now. <sighs> He's gonna be able to get the wish off. There's nothing I can do about it. I just have to go back into Aggron. Um, go for Fire Punch because I think he might send the wish off into. Actually, I'm gonna Earthquake because this covers him sending the wish off into Houndoom, predicting me to go for the Fire Punch on the incoming uh, Ferrothorn. Now, if he goes Ferrothorn here, and then he just read me like a goddamn book, but I think Earthquake is my safest play here. I've only revealed Toxic and Fire Punch so far. So, maybe, just maybe, if I can get this play right, that'd be fucking amazing. Now, also, if he just goes for Liquidation on me, then this man is actually on the next level of prep and the next level of this universe, and I'm not re I'm not prepared to be facing someone like this. He goes Rotom Fan, so he literally goes, like, the worst-case scenario. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that is really unfortunate. I actually could have killed this thing, too, with a Fire Punch. Uh, well, I'm going to go for the Toxic on this, regardless. Um, actually, he's shown Air Slash and HP Ice. Do I think that he would have the Willow? Do I think he has the Willow? Um, hmm. Now this turn is stressful. I'm going to go into Semiojo. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt. So he's revealed he does not have the Will-O-Wisp, which means I can um, I can be comfortable-ish around that thing. But now I have this thing weakened. And it's unfortunate, but I, I just have to go for a... I'm going to go for the Fire Blast. I'm going to go for the U-turn. He's just going to kill me. It doesn't matter. Um, stupid fucking Rotom and go fucking kill itself. I hate this Rotom so much. Alright, so I'm gonna go into Deoxys and just click uh, Nightshade.
We're only we we're already at turn thirty and we've had one KO. This is I don't have time for this long of a game. Why? Just let me kill all your Pokemon and win. Just leave me alone. Let me kill your team. I wanna kill your whole team. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I guess realistically I could pack my bag for this weekend. I'm going up to my girlfriend's for the weekend to because uh, it's our one year anniversary tomorrow from when I'm recording this. I'm actually recording this on the 30th. Uh, I don't know when it'll go up because I'm lazy as fuck and um, I'm not going to be at my computer until Sunday and I have a shit ton of league matches that I have to do on Sunday so I'll let y'all know. Or I won't let y'all know. You'll just fucking see it go up whenever it goes up so deal with it. Um, can you just make your move, dude? I don't have all fucking day <laughs> for this match. Oh my god. I hate, I hate this so much. The good thing is I haven't had to use Recover once in this game. Because I haven't lost my leftovers. Nothing he has has gone for. Um, actually, I know his whole Allo set. I know his whole Alomomola set. It's Wish, Protect, Toxic, and Liquidation. And the only thing I've seen on Ferrothorn is... The only thing I've seen on Houndoom is Dark Pulse. The only thing I've seen on Ferrothorn is... Um, Leech Seed. Which is good. I have no reason not to go for Nightshade. Like, you're just, you're, you're, you're telling me, hey, go for Nightshade more on me, please. I don't care. I will go for Nightshade again. I don't care. I lose nothing by clicking Nightshade here. You can whittle me down as far down as you want me to. And again, I'm going to go for the taunt, and now I'm going to go f uh, start packing some of my bag. Night shading here. Oh. 
already, already, already. So just multitask and get shit done while this match is taking 10,000 years because he's got a fat ass team and I have a fat ass team and this is just going to be one of those days. It's just one of those days, my boys. Ladies and gentlemen, it is one of those days. I actually sadly think I don't even have a female demographic on this channel. And it's actually kind of sad. It's really unfortunate, actually. There's just no females that care about Pokemon enough, I guess. It's really unfortunate. I got a brush. Um... He goes into the Zydote. Okay. Um, let's see what kind of set he's running here. 10%, 40%, so he's got like the 4 in HP, I think. Yep. Um, I'm going to recover to scout his damage. I'm recovering to scout damage. If he does between 31 and 37 with 1,000 arrows, or 42 to 49, almost 50% with his outrage, he is banded. Jolly banded, at least. He's going to Earthquake. It's EQ. And that's 38% on an EQ, which is slightly stronger than... Why is... Why is... What the fuck? This is weird. Um... So he has Earthquake over 1,000 arrows, presumably, but he is banded, and that is fine. I'm going to knock off on this turn, get rid of that band, yep. Now I can recover off on him easier. Alright, so that does nothing now, and I can just uh, Nightshade, and that we should kill from this range. Yep. Nightshade knocks out these Idoge. Perfect. Hey, I did say, just let me kill your fucking Pokemon. Uh, I do just go hard. My thing is...
to Tapu Finny Finny Nut. I go Finny. I go Finny every single time, and on this turn I go for the uh, Nature's Madness every time. I go for the taunt. Because <laughs> I lose nothing by going for that play at all. Uh, now I can go for the Nature's Madness again. Because it will chip down anything that he goes into. Okay. And to try and of my pants, I wasn't sure if they still fit, but now they do. So I'm very pleased. And now you're seeing how ridiculous this game has truly gotten. And if I can get that toxic that I want oh so badly on the um if I can get that oh so important toxic on that oh so agitating Aloma Mola, this would be a much better match. Right now. So I'm gonna go Agron. Because realistically. Uh, realistically, we're in a position now where Thunderbolt should only do 24 to 29 to Agron. Because let's be real, that's what he's more than likely going for, and I can sit in front of this thing a little bit, and for, I, I can for, come in on this thing and fire off a Toxic, which could be very essential to me winning this game. Why did that do so much damage? I'm I'm so confused as to what this fucking Rotom is. So he's not Spadef, but like that doesn't make any sense. Is he max special attack? He has to be max special attack. Modest. To do that much damage. That's crazy. That is such a high roll for that. What the fuck? Ugh, this is bad. I'm going to go for the Toxic anyway. He might double out of this thing. Trying to do some crazy shit. You just fucking... God damn it! That was important. That was a really important thing. And that... Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's a big deal. That's a big deal that he was modest. Uh, it's also a big deal that he got the max roll on that first one. Getting fucking 40% off. That really hurt. That really, really hurt that he got the max roll there. Any other roll, then I would have been less worried. God damn it. I needed the fucking toxic on that Aloma Mola. I'm never going to be able to break that stupid thing, dude. Nightshade does not kill from that range. He gets the para. Are you... N oh, my God. If I lose because of a full para, I'm about to cry. If I lose because of a full para, I'm about to fucking cry. No, he fucking crits me! Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit, dude. I'm gonna go for the T-ball. It's my best play. Just kill this thing. 
Fucking bullshit, dude. Fucking bullshit. Of course he fucking pairs me and then now that he outspeeds he fucking crits me. Bullshit. God damn it. I needed fucking Deoxys alive. So now that thing's gone though. What he goes out into determines what move I click. Can I get a para on him if he goes out into his Houndoom? Can I get a fucking para? Can I get a para, please? Can I please get a para? That'd be lovely. Give me a para. Why not? I could. I deserve a fucking para, right? Give me a fucking para. Piece of fucking bullshit. No, watch. If he goes into fucking Houndoom and he goes for a Dark Pulse, I'd probably flinch. If he went into Houndoom and went for Dark Pulse on me, I'd probably fucking flinch. Let's be real. <sighs> fucking bullshit. I'm ignoring the spectators. I don't either. I don't care. I'm ignoring spectators. I'm scrolling all the way the fuck back up. Ignore spectators. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I do not care. I do not care. Taunting immediately. I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Yes, I brought Taunt on my whole team. Don't fucking bitch about it. Deal with it. You have a team full of fat things. I brought Taunt. You know what I would like if he would go into either Deoxys or Houndoom and he'd get paralyzed on this Thunderbolt. That'd be great. How much is Thunderbolt even going to do to Aloha Mola? 46 to 54. That actually does a really decent amount of damage and I'm not, okay. I'm not mad about it. I ain't mad about it at all. The thing about it is, I can kill his Ferrothorn in easy mode with the Mystical Fire. So, I'm not worried about like him switching into Pharaoh at all. I'm not worried about any of that. I'm in a really good spot with Hermione right now. I'd be fine if you switched and got paralyzed on something. That'd be glorious. That'd be ideal. already behind schedule because this is taking as long as it is. I shouldn't be shocked because I'm going to Mystical Fire and get rid of this Ferrothorn right now. Yep, thing is gone. Perfect. He's gonna go Houndoom. He has not revealed anything besides. All right, so now it's yeah. He has not revealed the Sludge Bomb yet, so I have no reason not to keep going into Top of Finny. I'm gonna try, but 
It's fine. Dark Pulse once again. On this play, I Nature's Madness. Incoming Aloe. And then I just auto click Taunt because I'm not stupid. Got the defense drop on that, which sucks, but I'm gonna Nature's Madness again. Liquidation did 8.5% the first time. I mean, he's making the best possible play of just going for the liquidations again and again. Like, there's nothing else that makes sense for him to do right now. Can, if he's fully physically defensive, Aloma Mola. First off, um, yeah. If he's fully physically defensive, Alo, um, how much would... I don't know why I'm considering doing this right now. If he's liquidation. Earthquake does not do enough damage, so I have to go into Ms. Magus. This could be a big mistake. This could be the read of my life. Can't really do anything with Glyscore though right now. That's the thing. Glyscore can't do shit right now. Oh, he switched out into Deoxys. That's perfect. Um, 
I'm going for the earthquake. He has ice beam. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna go for anything. Hilarious. Crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball. Because I can. I don't even care at this point. I, don't, I honestly don't even care if I lose. What I, I, I don't care if I lose. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt here. Kill the Aloma Mola. Thank you. I mean, realistically, I still go Tapu Fini. Yeah, I can take the Dark Pulse, and I go for Surf. Deoxys isn't going to appreciate the Surf at all. Coming in on that, that's going to it's going to heavily regret that decision. Actually, it does not heavily regret that decision at all. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and... At this point, Surf is doing more. He has Energy Ball. That's fine. I do lose this game, but it's whatever. He's going to Shadow Ball this thing here. He's going to Psychic. That's fine. Uh, breaks my Sash. And uh, he's going to be able to kill me with the Houndoom. And, uh, GG. Replay saved. Don't care. Have a nice day. That'll be it for this battle. It's been way too long. Um, um, yeah, way too long. I have so much shit to do today, and, uh, I made a mistake in scheduling it for now, uh, because there are other things I have to do that are more pressing than this, and, uh, I've, yeah, this is annoying. So I gotta go. Thank you all for watching. Let you like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Vogue Primer, signing off.